It's Waxing Lyrical, baby. Hello, Waxers, and welcome to Waxing Lyrical, Mains and Dutch. I'm your host, Mains. My colleague, preparing himself for thermonuclear war, is Mr. Neil Dutton. How are we, Neil? If the end could possibly wait until we've recorded this at least got out just so we see some final download figures that would be awesome that would be cool that would be cool um as we speak in north korea and and america are having a, a weighing contest and given the fact that donald trump's got small hands it would be difficult to see him weighing i mean it's it's bad news when you know there's a person you know he's there's a nuclear arsenal um he's got a stupid haircut he's got a, you know he's totally unqualified for the job he does and then there's kim jong un that's an issue, right? It's an issue. It's an issue. So, uh, me and Dutton are actually going to do two podcasts this week. Um, basically, with the yeah, we're going to we're going to try. We're going to try if we're not, you know, blown into smithereens or part of some kind of fallout um, situation on uh, on later on in the week. But today, Monday, we're going to go through the top sixteen in the draft. We're only ten days to go until the draft. We thought we'd better pull our finger out. Uh, Dutton has obviously been going through many. Uh, many videos and as you've seen tons of content especially rated tight end in, in the draft me uh, I've listened to a few podcasts so uh, I'm going to do a lot of guessing so i am probably got more chance of being right than Dutton given given their draft schedules in recent years too much knowledge dangerous absolutely Dutton absolutely so uh, first things first we're going to dip into Weird World we'll do one today and uh, one, one later on the week and then we'll dive into uh, the draft one picks one through sixteen. Only one of our teams picks in that, in in those echelons. That's Neil's team, uh, and we'll start, funnily enough, with mine later on in the week. But Dutton, let's get on with a bit of weird world. Dutton, we 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 we're in a we're in a group a, a group message together. The, the I think everyone's in a group message nowadays. Uh, one of ours is uh, about the NFL, um, and it loves to be pedantic. It loves it loves. Well, I'm in it, so. Well, yeah, but, yeah, but, uh, but I wonder if you've ever you've ever uh, tried to get yourself out of a parking ticket by uh, noticing there was a missing comma in said parking ticket. That's what happened to a lady in Middletown, Ohio. An appeals court has agreed with an Ohio woman who has said their parking citation should have been tossed because the village law was missing a comma. Uh, Andrea says she shouldn't have issued shouldn't have been issued the citation in 2014 based on the wording of the law enacted by the village of West, and Je- West Jefferson. The law lists several types of vehicles that can't be parked longer than 24 hours, including a motor vehicle camper with a comma, motor vehicle camper, comma, with the comma missing between vehicle and camper. A- Andrea says a pickup truck does not fit that definition. The village, the village says the law's meaning was clear in context, but judge... Robert Hendrickson of the 12th Ohio District Court of Appeals says in last week's ruling that West Jefferson should amend their law if it wants to be read differently. Missing commas up, that is, to, to get out of a parking ticket, that's pedantic to, to its, I think it's its, le- its ultimate degree and almost its dictionary definition. <laughs> it's pedantic to a capital T. See... There is nothing better in the world than being proved right, especially when you've been argued with vociferously. I mean, I once um, made a 35-minute walk home and then a 35-minute walk back um, just to go home and get a, um, a football encyclopedia just to prove a pub quiz wrong uh, because apparently I lost by one point and I hadn't. <laughs> uh, I knew I was right. So I went to get the book. He came back and he said, "Okay, you must be right." Okay, so now I'm the winner, aren't I? He went, "Oh, I can't change it now." And I nearly beat him to death with the book. To be honest, I mean, it was a weighty tone. I was going to say, we a weighty tone if it was a, a football encyclopedia. This obviously Dutton show, showing Dutton's age here is now he would just Google it on his phone. Absolutely, and I wouldn't mind. As well. It was just it was so clear. It, I'll tell you what it was. Who was the first British team to play in the European Cup? Was it Wolves? I, I, that's English team, right? Yeah, they played in. A, they played like it wasn't in the European Cup, but they played like teams like Ferenc Varos and and uh, people like that. The first British team to officially play in the European Cup was Hibs. Okay. Not Liverpool, as this clown claimed, and I'll tell you why it wasn't Liverpool. They were in the second division when yeah. the European Cup started. I would say yeah, we. 
I think our first year was like 65. <laughs> or 64, 65. So definitely wasn't us, like. No. Definitely wasn't us. <laughs> I just, love, sorry, I just love the fact that uh, he was in a Liverpool booze and just said Liverpool. I, I wonder how many, but the, I assume the guy won because he said Liverpool. Yeah. Because he gets you. So he actually yeah, lost a point and you won a point. Yeah, I mean, because obviously it wasn't an Evertonian pub because they'd have been able to tell him exactly that it wasn't Liverpool. Well, exactly, wasn't exactly. He took the words right yeah. out of my mouth. But if I said it, you know, I'd be bitter. Mm-hmm. Um, so that, that's that's weird world. We've got another one, that, uh, another one later on in the week. What I'll say is, that just don't, the question I'll get thought in your head is, how much would you help your partner with their job? That's all you need to know about the weird world coming up. Um, I, think I'm, I think I'm just giving you the answer. Yeah, silence. <laughs> uh, I, I think you may, you definitely wouldn't help with this one, but we'll, we'll see anyway. So we move on, don't we, to, to what, what we're here for today, and that's the draft. Um, ten days away. Um, Philadelphia, Dutton. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. That's a lot of booing. That is a lot of a lot of players getting booed. Um, just think how much booing there would have been if the Eagles hadn't got a first round pick for Bradford, and the Eagles fans would have had no one to boo. Yeah, They'd have to boo everyone just to be equal. True. So what we got it is sixteen picks, um, two for one team. Uh, so what we're going to do is go through it in order, uh, give give you our thoughts, quick quick thoughts really, because last thing you need is me and Dutton talking about it. You know, yeah, a, a we are not for an hour and a half. We're not yeah. we're not Mel Kiper or you know, uh, yeah. uh, the, the 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 move the sticks guys on NFL.com. dot yeah. com. You know, we're not. We are people. not fully paid up members of Draft Twitter. No, so what, what we are are NFL fans yes, who know a little bit about college. Um, but no more about college players who enter the NFL rather than college players. Yeah. Um, and so you will see that probably from our picks. Uh, not many. Obviously, we're only doing the first round, but there won't be many. You know, you know, uh, East Tennessee State uh, defensive linemen in our picks. Can't imagine it. So Dutton, let's start. Um, I, I've got them on the clock, and, and that's uh, the Cleveland Browns. And who have you got picking first for them? Uh, Miles Garrett. Yeah, I, 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 well, let's do it like this. Dutton. If we've got the same one, may as well talk about it together. Um, mm-hmm. I've got Miles Garrett too. Uh, my 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 line here says. Let's not be cute about this Browns. Let's let's yeah. take best player available here. Uh, defensive for those who don't know, Miles Garrett is defensive end, Texas A and M, and is a athletic freak, uh, and expects to and, and projected to be a, a fantastic player in the NFL. Yeah, um, as as I say, if the Browns were to you know pass on Carson Wentz last year and take a quarterback here, and his name be Mitchell Trubisky first overall. <laughs> I don't know whether I would point and laugh at my telly for a day, a week, or the rest of time. See, the thing the thing I don't understand about that is I saw John, John Buckhard talk about this as well. I know you're a close friend, so you will team laugh. But, like, mm-hmm. all he will have done is picked a quarterback who no one knows would be any good in the NFL, got a load of picks, and picked another quarterback who no one knows would be any good in the NFL. True. Yeah, but really, but, but, only got got more picks and still got a quarterback. Yeah, but bear in mind, a lot of people have been, you know, talking Carson Wentz up going into the drafting. I'm not hearing anyone saying to Trubisky, "You've got he, you. Ha- if you don't take him, you'll regret it." No, if you do take him, you'll be mocked. Yeah, I mean, the, the Bra- let's be honest, the Browns will be mocked whatever they do. What I found quite interesting is one of the the things on Trubisky who uh, is he's only thrown one, he's only been there one year. He threw only 41 less passes than Carson Wentz did in his whole North Dakota State career. Um, what, what should also be noted is North Dakota State is D2, and Mitchell Zabriskie played Clemson, FSU, um, and a, uh, I'm, I'm, my ACC knowledge dri- drips off. My, the University of Miami, he's, he's played against you know semi-pro outfits. So I'm not as and down ex- as and anybody excel. else. No, he, he well... He played for North no, Carolina. He did, did he? He's played yeah. okay. Whereas the other fella against the inferior what competition a... won the uh, title two years running. No, I, I, I well, he, yeah. This Although is last the last season. Anyway, the so. last season, he, you know, last season he, he hardly played any of the games. But I know what you're saying. Um, 49ers done second in the in the draft. Who have you got? 
there doesn't seem to be, you know, most draft it's, you know, if you don't take him, you'll take him. There doesn't seem to be a consensus second best player, but I've got them taking Solomon Thomas. Yeah, I've got them taking Solomon Thomas too. I, if you're the 49ers, this is a bad year to be crap. Because mm. I think, the, well, when, when I say that is, they haven't got any real skill position players of note. They really, really want a quarterback. They really, really want my quarterback, actually. Um, It'd be nice if someone does. Well, yeah. Well, I think we do, just not at the same amount of money that he wants. Uh, well done, us. Um, so, I've gone for Thomas in Canada. that he's, he's probably the, you know, the kind of player that you want in, the, in your organisation when you're new. He's full of energy, um, full of, full of you know, movement and, you know, massive engine. And the good thing is, is that, like, we, we, if we mock, if we mock, um, we mock John Lynch, which we, we, we tend to do, do. probably, is that he's only, he will have only seen, you know, college players in big games and, or like bowl games, for example. And Solomon Thomas was absolutely unbelievable in his Sun Bowl victory for Stanford. That's not me pouring wine, by the way. Yeah, shame, Dutton, shame. You, you, like you drink wine. Um, third pick, Dutton, uh, Chicago Bears. Um, Malik Hooker. <laughs> His name's Hooker. He is the uh, safety from Ohio State. Uh, I haven't picked him, Dutton. I have picked no? uh, um, Jonathan Allen, who's the defensive tackle from Alabama. Why have you picked Hooker, Dutton? <laughs> well, <laughs> I just think they've been lacking a really, really good safety for the um, for the Bears for quite some time. Uh, I think if you look at basically what. Uh, um, you know what John Fox does. Having a you know an efficient safety back there certainly does help. Um, and I think Hooker, you know, he's by some accounts he's one of the top four or five players on the you know in the entire draft. And basically he's just one of those you know you play centre field, stick him up there, and let him do everything, and then just try and improve everything in front of him. Yeah, I picked Jonathan Allen because kind of the opposite concept of I want someone to dominate the line. Um, I wouldn't be like. In the UK, you know, a lot of the games you're going to watch are those half eight games on ESPN, which is the CBS game, which is all of the SEC games, which means you get to see Alabama a lot. And he's unbelievable, or he was unbelievable for Alabama. I wouldn't be surprised mm. if when we go forward, he's the best player that anyone's got in a draft. Wow. Um, Jacksonville Jaguars, who have you got them picking? Leonard Fournette. Yeah, I've got them picking Leonard Fournette too, which is outrageously high for a cut, for a running back. It was last who's, year with Ezekiel Zeke, yeah. Elliott, but yeah. yeah. A running back who's not going to do anything on passing downs. Well, yeah, but I think, let's be honest, I assume the same reason you picked him is the same reason I have. One way to make Blake Bortles not the problem is to make him throw it less. One way to make him throw it less is to have someone like Leonard Fournette who will who can run a lot as he did in LSU at LSU? Yeah, their their running backs have been atrocious uh, for the last five years. So um, pretty much since uh, Maurice Jones Drew left. So it needs improvement, and he's someone you know. If, if you're going to run on first and second down, and then you know it's basically it's you need Fournette to get you to third and two, and if he can do that, then and you can't improve on that, then you're the problem, not him. Um, just if if they do pick Leonard Fournette, uh, uh, d- dynasty owners of, uh, of 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 Alan Robinson despair is what me and Dutton would be describing how uh, Jacksonville's offense may change. It, I think if they get Fournette, they would attempt without as good of, a, of as an offensive line, obviously, to model themselves on how Dallas played last year. Basically, yeah, I think that's a safe a safe assumption. Uh, Tennessee Titans, Dutton. Mike Williams. Wide receiver, Clemson. Uh, I mm-hmm. don't know, because we haven't had enough Mike Williamses in the league, so let's have the, another one. Is this the third this century? I think it's the third wide receiver this century. Yeah. Um, why, why, um, why Mike Williams, Dutton? Um... Big body receiver, you know he's going to go. He's going to be basically a safety valve for Marcus Mariota, who's you know hopefully you know Touchwood is uh, recovering from injury. He's you know basically they've got some decent receivers. I like you know when it comes to Tennessee, I quite like uh, what's his 
name. Ah! Rashad Matthews, um, I quite, you know, they, they, they had Tarjay Sharp, who didn't do too badly, but an awful lot was expected of him for such a low draft pick. Basically, I think that Mike Williams profiles as basically someone who they can literally stick against, you know, the best corner, and he can go up and win these, you know, contested catches because he certainly can't separate. Uh, yeah, I've I've got them picking um, Marshawn Lattimore. He's the cornerback from Ohio State. Um, what well, if if you watched any of Tennessee last year, they were in loads of shootouts, um, mainly due to the fact they couldn't defend the pass. Twenty uh, ninth against the pass last year. Uh, Marshawn Lattimore is probably the best defensive back, including safety in the in the um, in the draft. So I would expect them to pick them with the pick they got from the LA Rams. Don't forget. Mm-hmm. Um, J E T S Jets 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 done. I'm not saying it's going to work. I'm not even saying it's, it makes perfect sense. Okay, stop. Just for clearance' sake, I have no idea what Dutton's going to say right now. Uh, I we text each other and we I said I've got a pick that they want that 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 A team will get really pissed about. Mm. This is that pick, Dutton. And while okay. you're caveating your pick, I have a horrible feeling we've done the same thing. Go, OJ Howard. Oh no, we haven't done the same thing. Even better, uh, you've gone uh, tight end Alabama. Talk me through OJ Howard, Dutton. Well, I, I've, I haven't actually got round to writing his his prospect thing for Rotoviz just yet. I, you know, I have started throwing it together. I haven't done my evaluations. Um, basically, he's you know supposed to be the number one tight end on the board. The Jets have been screaming for a tight end since Dustin Keller left. He left in 2012. Now he wasn't the best tight end in the league, but he certainly wasn't bad. Um, and basically, you'd hope they're going to address quarterback at some stage. They have got total, you know. They're so weak in terms of offensive talent. So just give them someone who can come in and help the blocking and also help the receiving game and maybe be a rookie tight end's best friend for years to come. Obviously, he won't be a rookie for years to come. Um, Jets are going to suck um, really badly. Like, have a chance to be the worst team in the league. Uh, they got Josh McCowan, who's oft injured, um, and they need a quarterback. So... With the sixth pick, in the New York Jets pick, Deshaun Watson, quarterback, Clemson. I don't really know why, oh. apart from the fact it would make people very mad. Uh, and I, I think it'd be fun. Like, let's have fun, Dutton. Um, Deshaun Watson is is depends on who you speak about. Speak about to him, you know, lots of issues, blah de blah, but is also a winner, and mm. all, all he's ever done is win. Um, not something the Jets are renowned for. Josh McCowan's a good stopgap, but he ain't, ain't going to be quarterback for the next four or five. Well, you know what I mean. He's, he's two and twenty in his last twenty-two. <laughs> yeah, when I say stopgap, I mean like he seems like a nice guy. Uh, he's not very good at his job, but then again, you know, you be good at your job when you're the quarterback for the Bears or the Browns. It's not really going to work out for you. Mm. Um, he needs a quarterback. Um, most people, if we take Dan Anders, for example, is uh, assuming that would be uh, Donald next year. But, you know, I'd pick Watson. That's just me. Because we all mm-hmm. know how the USC quarterback carousels worked out in the past, oh. especially in New York. Please, no. Uh, Sandy nearly did it, Dutton. Los yeah. Angeles, Superchargers. Don't know if that works now. Uh, they're another team that's been missing, you know, a... A signature safety ever since Eric Weddle left. So I have them taking Jamal Adams out of LSU, I believe. So I've got Malik Hooker, the safety from Ohio State here, done the same concept. Um, yeah. They need they need they need offensive linemen really, but the, the offensive lineman class this year is is not very is not great. So I haven't got them it's picking one. It's no. okay, but it's not it's not like. Let's get a left tackle, plug him in, and he's there forever. I don't think, anyway. Um, he says that I've got someone taking an offensive tackle pretty soon. Um, but I just think he's the best player available here. And as you said, you look at you look at the offense, and we say this every year. I feel like we say this every year about the offense, but it looks pretty set. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You get Keenan Allen back. Uh, you've, st- you've got Hunter Henry now. You know Melvin Gordon. You've got Phil Rivers if he's you know. Like Sela, you never know. 
cheeky little thirty thousand seat stadium, which I would love to go to. By the way, I, I think it'd be yeah. awesome. But um, yeah, uh, that that's who I've got. Malik Hooker. And you've gone Jamal. This team's gonna you. suck us in again. This team is the AFC equivalent to the Bucks. I was just about to say exactly the same thing. The AFC Tampa Bay Bucks, but they are they are fan. They should be fantasy gold if they can keep everyone fit. On that's be honest. Doesn't mean they're going to win a game. No. And and we just got them both picking a safety and their new quarterback, their new head head coaches and offensive coordinators. So there's a probably bubble chance of them picking a defense player. Yeah. Um, Carolina Panthers done. Uh, The Panthers want. Um, Cam Newton to throw more and run less so one way to do that is obviously improve the offensive line or give him a better class of weapon and bear in mind Kelvin Benjamin is arse I don't care what anyone says he's not a very good player he wasn't a very good player in college now I don't it, it doesn't happen very often that players who stink in college then become studs in the NFL it doesn't really happen so I've got them taking a receiver and it's John Roth uh for if John Moss is the wide receiver from Washington, uh, Washington as in the state, um, not not the not the NFL team. Um, he is fast um, and also very good, but uh, fast. Yeah, and uh, when your quarterback isn't very accurate, just chuck it long and hope for the best. As long as you're well, someone who can outrun them. They've gone. They've gone down the the other avenue of of let's get the biggest, hugest wide receivers ever. Because maybe you just need a bigger, you know, target, but also lob it as far as you can and see if you can catch it as a good response. So I've, I've, I've kind of, I kind of agree with you, right? I've, I, I think they need an offensive weapon. I do. They, well, you know, they just spent eight billion pounds on defense today with K1 Short. Um, as, 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 as yourself and a number of others had said, uh, that noise you heard about three or four hours ago was Aaron Donald's agent screaming. Th- thank you and hallelujah from the heavens as he realises what Aaron Dolan's going to make in, a, in next year. Um, Panthers, I think they need more weapons. Um, I think you probably do want to throw, run less, throw more, maybe. But what if you got someone who could do both? And that's why I've got the Carolina Panthers taking Christy McCaffrey, running back from Stanford. Um, Jonathan Stewart loves being injured um, and old he loves being, well, he, I don't know if he loves being old he loves being injured um, McCaffrey is a running back who, who can line up in the slot and, and play wide receiver he runs right wide receiver route he did that and it's his pro day at Stanford uh, if you've got a chance to watch Pac-12 in the UK bravo to you because most of the games run at 3 o'clock in the morning but if you take them, McCaffrey's was unbelievable in a in an absolutely putrid Stanford offense. Uh, he has a chance to be a star, but he also has the chance to be Reggie Bush. That's mm. that's the that's the comp. What's he going to be? I think he's got a chance to be good, and I think the Panthers take him here. I mean, I, I I did see one game where he did he did take an awful lot. I say awful lot. He took one or two. Um, um, Direct snaps, running back. Now, when you factor in, you know, you've got such an athlete as Cam Newton, you can start mixing in bits of trickery like that. Then you, you're just gonna you're gonna make yourself even more unpredictable. I wouldn't hate that pick. Um, Cincinnati Bengals. On. Uh, one way to keep them away from the Cowboys is for the Bengals to take Mr. Derek Barnett. <laughs> He is the defensive end of Tennessee. If you love watching SEC football, each each team in the SEC has a unbelievable defensive lineman who d- causes havoc. Uh, Tennessee's with Derek Bonnet. Very, very high motor. A, that's a very draft, isn't that? That's a classic draft, isn't it? You know, excellent high speed, car- excellent yeah. speed high and quickness. Guy. Yeah, he's quick, but he's not quick. He's fast. <laughs> yeah. Great feet, violent hands. Violent hands is a good one. That's a uh, that is a good one. Um, I haven't got that. Up. No, I'm going to tell you that um, uh, left left tackle, Abuye, right tackle, Jake Fisher, bleh. Um, Bengals select Ryan Ramsher, offensive tackle, Wisconsin. Everybody, if they get the opportunity, should get an offensive lineman from Wisconsin because they're people who beat people up on a regular it's what basis. What they do. So let's get down and dirty. Bengals want to run more. 
couldn't really last year, mainly on couldn't protect the quarterback either. I think Ramshek helps. Also, great name R A M C Z Y K. Oh, I got the, um, the Z and the Y wrong way around. Um, I only did that because I copied and pasted it from the internet. Um, well played. Buffalo Bills. The Bills owner is going round on all these workouts of quarterbacks. Um, that it's a, it, If it's a smoke screen, it's a bloody good one because if I was a millionaire, I wouldn't want to be uh, going around watching it if we, we're never going to take these players. So I think they're taking a quarterback. Um, and I think they're going to take Deshaun Watson because um, similar similar skill set to Tyrod Taylor, but they're maybe hoping he'll be a bit he'll be a better Tyrod Taylor. Similar arm strength as well. <laughs> Enjoy Buffalo. <laughs> Enjoy Buffalo, Deshaun. And we've got him in the same division, Dutton. Um, as I said, he's a winner. Um, I don't. They're not. Buffalo, yeah. Buffalo, I don't know. I just don't know. With Buffalo, you know. That's you know the the whole let's get a quarterback. Uh, no, no, let's play. Let's play that first round pick from FSU's garbage. No, we don't want Tyrod Taylor. Yes, we do. Let's get a new head coach. He doesn't want him. Yes, he does. Do we really um, want Sammy? Yeah. Um, I've got them pick on Mike Williams, wide receiver from Clemson. Um, can't separate. Big body helps Tyrod Taylor. Can he get Watkins fit? Get them two together. We may be in business. Especially, with, especially if we can get another, we can bleed another year out of Shady McCoy. Mm-hmm. New Orleans Saints, Dutton. Uh, well, you've already got him off the board, but I've got them taking Jonathan Allen. That's nice. I've got them. You've got him off the board on my side. I've got them taking Derek Barnett. Get on to us, thinking the Saints are going to pick defense. <laughs> comedy, comedy they, hour ensues. They really should. Don't he really should every year from now until it's mm. empty? Because yeah. he can pick, he can pick a third round wide receiver who can get ten thousand yards with their eyes closed. They haven't got a giara glue out to pick a out to pick a defender. It doesn't help that their head coach is only cares about offense, and their GM only cares about basketball. The Pelicans. Mm. <laughs> uh, um, back round again. We got the we got the Cleveland Browns and we've got them picking Mitchell Trubisky. I have as well. This is see what I actually wanted to, to do, but I didn't know if it was possible. Was to say with the twelfth pick, the Browns select Jimmy Garoppolo, quarterback, New England Patriots, because that's what he should be trying to do. Now we know nothing about Trubisky, and you know, although if you listen to friends of ours and the internet. Jimmy Garoppolo is the greatest quarterback ever. What we've actually seen is about 30 throws. <clears throat> and he cemented this wonderful reputation by doing the one thing that is guaranteed <clears throat> to enhance your reputation. Don't play. Don't play. He's been, that's, that's, that's a great thing to do. There's nothing better than <clears throat> not playing for your you draft stuff. So I would try and get Jimmy Garoppolo. Although, you know, is that going to happen? I don't know. Um, it does look like Tom Brady is uh, actually name is not Tom Brady it's Duncan McLeod of the clan McLeod he wants to live forever however, there can only be one I, there can only be one however I do expect him to, to stop playing eventually and he will need a quarterback at that point so they will want a high price is the 12th pick high enough because what all the Patriots to do is get that 12th pick and draft down 47 times so he get 15 number 2 picks the Arizona Cardinals, done. Who've you got? Um, I've got them taking Kevin King, um, who was a person that, <coughs> excuse me, Rob Stanton thought that the Seahawks might be interested in. And I just think the idea that basically to try and take a Seahawks style player, keep him in your division, and piss the Seahawks off is a good way to go for the Cards. Because they are, you know, you take, you know, Honey Badger and you take Patrick Peterson away, their secondary is a little bit depleted. Um, I've I've kind of gone the opposite way on this one, and I looked at um, John Brown, Larry Fitz, uh, and thought John Ross, wide receiver, Washington. Let's go forward. They love a fast. They love a fast wide receiver. Let's get David Johnson and John Ross together, and let's make beautiful music. Carson Palmer's got one last hurrah. Let's let let's do it properly. Mm-hmm. Okay, Dutton. This is the this is the pick everyone's been waiting for. 
I know you haven't picked that player and I picked him at the Panthers. Don't think I didn't see the heart eyes you did on Twitter today. Tell me that you picked Christian McCaffrey at the Eagles. Charles Harris. Ooh, talk, and talk us through. Where's he play? Who's he for? He's a defensive end. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where he plays. I haven't got that written down. The Eagles are screaming out for the defensive end because they thought it would be a good idea to pay Vinnie Curry as if he was a high-end starter when he was a situational backup. Um, the cornerback class, as friend Duffy told us, is quite deep. Um, in fact, some of the quarterback na- cornerback names, I say I've got the full my full draft here, a lot of those names are still going to be available in the second round when the Eagles come around again. Um, and Charles Harris, by all accounts, is you know after you know your Garrett, your Thomases, um, and your Derek Barnett, he's up there with you know he's a risky pick uh, for some. I know uh, Teron Davenport of Eagles Wire isn't the biggest fan, uh, but please, my kingdom for a pass rush. So look, in in that because I mean it's Eagles, so let's, let's dwell on it slightly. Um, is a lot of people thinking that you're going to pick Harris, or is there a consensus in another way, or, or what? What's the uh, what's the, so someone's looked at him and said we've been linked with him, but I don't like him. What is that? Is that consensus, or just one or two? I think it's just one of those. There's a lot of people who want you know who are a receiver. Some people want Christian McCaffrey, or the people want cornerback. Um, but I just think Jim Schwartz is basically the GM of the defense. You know, <laughs> nothing happens on that defense without his say. So, so got to give him something he'd want i.e. as someone who can rush the pass there so he doesn't have to blitz yeah I looked I looked at I looked at linebacker for yourselves you know never going to gonna happen no it's never, never going to happen so I didn't that's why I didn't do it <laughs> looked at it thought not great cornerback better than has been still not great thought stuff this then went oh look as we speak right now running backs are Darren Sproles and Wendell Smallwood so we uh, the uh, Philadelphia Eagles uh, select Dalvin Cook, running back FSU, and means he's already picked three running backs in his top fourteen picks. That's never wouldn't hate happen. to see him. Yeah. Wouldn't hate to see him at the Eagles. Would hate the first round pick. Yeah, it is. It's but that's that you 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 and you're in that uh, Mel Kuyper school as we as I like to call it of. It's not that he's not talented, it's just I, I can get someone in the I, fourth round. I shout Todd an awful lot. Todd, Todd. And you, have a, you dream of still having hair like Mel Kuyper Jr. Um, but you don't, it's not the best value here, but you know, who cares no. about value when you uh, GM's a wizard? Mm-hmm. Um, Indianapolis Colts done. Now, I had the Colts when I originally did this, taking Malik McDowell, who's a defensive lineman, but then they went and went signed Jonathan Hankins which changed him. And then Malik McDowell tweeted about the earth being flat and it's not even a question. So he's gone straight down the board. Um, not too far, actually, now look at it. It's not even um, a question. Like, oh no, it is a question. You Come on, people. Um, Come on, people. Let's, let's get back in the room here. Yeah. We've got an, so, it's, it's bad enough with the president. So I've gone with, again, they have a team, they're an ageing running back. So I have Christian McCaffrey going to the Colts. Oh, see what you see what you did there. See what you did there. Don't, I, I mean, I like the pick. You know, I, I love McCaffrey, so it makes perfect sense for me. Um, I, you know, if if honest to God, like if I was Indianapolis or Colts Twitter, and they picked an offensive player in the first round, I would set Twitter on fire. Absolutely set it on fire. What are you doing? Your defence is rank and you're picking me a running back. Go go to hell, Indianapolis Colts. So I've got them picking Ruben Foster. He's the linebacker from Alabama. Ballard has got to fix the defence, Dutton. And Foster's an excellent starting point. He's going to be a quarterback at a defence. I love that phrase. Um mm-hmm. Play for Bama. I personally want to be. Yeah, I personally want to be the long snapper of the offense. <laughs> I, 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 I love Foster. Uh, again, jumped off the jumped off the page when you watched them uh, on 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 game day on Saturdays. Uh, I don't know if that just because of the all the off all the um, de- defense in Alabama did, but there we go. That's who I'm picking. Final pick of the first half of the draft on, and it's the Baltimore Ravens. I've seen some teams, some mocks with them taking a tight end. 
do these people look at deck charts before they make these comments? I'm going to say no. The the Ravens have more tight ends than the Patriots have got running backs. And that's an awful bloody lot. So, I'll make it simple. What college did Ozzie Newsom go to? Oh, Dutton, I don't know that. You do the history stuff. Well, Ozzie Newsom went to a little-known college called Alabama. Oh, yeah, he did, so <clears> I knew that. Uh, Zach Orr was the linebacker, retired. So I think there may be a linebacker from Alabama who you've just mentioned, who I've got mm-hmm. to going to the uh, Baltimore Ravens, Reuben Foster. Nice, Dutton, nice. Um, do you know what Joe Flacco likes, Dutton? Throwing it <coughs> um, dead far. Not being, not being called elite. Throwing it dead far. Uh, Skip Bayless called him the best quarterback of the past... Ten draft best, by the way today. Best first round quarterback. Yeah, best and first you know me, I'm, I'm not going to defend Skip Bayless without bloody good reason, but he is the only one in taken since 2008 who's won a Super Bowl ring. Rings yeah. on everything, of course. Otherwise, yeah, I'll tell you what, right, tell, you what, you know. tell you what. You take Joe Flacco. I'll take the rest, and, we'll, and I'll be fine. Namely, Andrew okay. Luck and Matt you've Ryan. T- okay, you've taken one of these first round quarterbacks. How did that work out for you? Not great, not great. Moving on. Um, he loves throwing it dead far uh, and uh, getting pass interference. Uh, his new weapon of choice for that will be Corey Davis, wide receiver, Western Michigan. Um, first, Is he a speed guy? He's not necessarily a speed guy, Dutton. Um, he's got skills. Uh, he's talented. Uh, um, if I remember correctly, when we spoke to Matt Harmon, I had a lot of time for him. I expect him to be good. Uh no doubt in my mind about that one. So I get them picking Corey Davis. They need someone to replace Steve Smith. Do you know it's going to happen eventually? He's going to stop playing. Well, he has stopped playing. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, exactly. He stopped playing, so they need someone to replace him. Breaking news: says uh, Steve Smith coming out of retirement. Yeah, for you one heard, day only. <laughs> you heard it here first. You heard it here first. It's on. Um, that's that, thank you. That's draft that picks one to sixteen. Um, I'm going to have to go now, Dutton, as my son, who went to bed an hour ago, has just came down the stairs in his pyjamas, just looked at me and was like, F you, Dad, what? I am going what? to bed, and there's nothing you can do about it. And I'll tell you what, if you kick up a stink, I'll start screaming my head off. Hats off to him. Uh, we will be back later in the week with picks 17 to 32. Uh, this just in. I haven't got a clue who I'm going to do for 17 to 32 because I'm not that organised. All I know is um, the Washington one uh, will be defence. Bold. It must be fun trying to plan a draft and trying to predict what a team will do in a draft when they haven't got a GM. Did I um, mention you haven't got a GM? Um, uh, yeah. Uh, top guys out. <laughs>